Hello guys, how you doing? Oh, welcome back to the Sim Shack and of course welcome back to the Sim UK. I hope you're doing well. The game has had a lot of updates. I've been busy fixing the problem with the shed. That's all fixing. With a bit of a trim. There's so many updates and features that have come into the game in the last couple of updates that um, I don't really know where to begin. I guess what we're going to do is carry on from where we left off, which was after our fish farm. We uh, just did a long route back from, I think, Storm Bay, and we tried to drop off some medium sized um, deliveries, which didn't work. Well, that's all fixed. Now. That all works properly. Um, so what we need to do is put some food up to our fish farm. So that they don't start. Plenty of cash, 321,000. Um, where do I find food for the fish farm? Oh, you can sell inventory items now. That's going to cheer a lot of you up. That's good. A massive step forward. And I believe we now buy 1,000 kilogram food sets. Let's buy two of them and just see. If I can get it from the boat. So this is a medium sized crane. I'm guessing it's for this one, right? Someone asked me to do tutorial for cranes, so we'll see if we can do it. Let's first of all see if I can pick it up. Press E and then Q gets you back off the crane so you can walk around. Let's jump back on again. So you've got R and F. R sends the crane out. F pulls it back in again. A and D will rotate the crane, and then W and S will lower and raise it. But so I, I can put this on my boat. Let's just see if my boat sinks. What I loved about this the other day, do you remember the last episode? Um, the, um, the physics of loading up the boat too much on one side. Superb, isn't it? Oh, speed is so quick. It's not realistic at all. I really hope they're going to do something about that. Really hoping they uh, look at the physics on the boat and try and improve things somewhat. Right, let's see if we could do this then. So we'll rotate. Just about the edge. We'll extend. Yeah, I have to bring it both closer on. That's the point, folks. I wonder if I could just pull it in this way. Further forward required. Not very long, these crane arms. Maybe that's something they need to look at. Rock. Do you know what happened there? I couldn't get the boat to stop because it accelerated too quickly. Yeah, and we've I've smashed look at that. That should have destroyed all my searchlight. Uh that that should be like compensation claim right there. <laughs> okay, one annoying thing I've just discovered is I've got this beam NG software running in the background. Back up a little bit. God, that's stressful. You can tell I haven't been uh, in the cage for a while. Everything's a bit alien to me. Right, that's looking a bit more promising. So, let's try and place this first one right in that corner. Kind of like game. I was quite ready to let that go, to be honest with you. Ah, yeah. oh, that is irritating. So the wave brought the boat up, which made the hook connect to it a second time. 
So yes, I will be speaking to the devs about this and highlighting the fact that it's not realistic and quite annoying. See what happens as a result. Right, so bag number two. Let's see if we can't put it quite next to the other one. See, that's just not long enough, is it? Okay, so we've got two bags on. Let's go grab another two. Again, there's no confirmation when you're buying these. I think that needs to be fixed as well. I will pass all this information on to the devs. All these discoveries. Right, so we have two very far over the other side. I think I could take five here. Five out. That's so annoying. I don't want it to let go of the bag until I'm ready for it to let go. It's quite irritating. Right, that's perfect. That's right where we want it. That's bad boy up. Fiddly, to say the least. Right, I think we're going to squeeze one more on there. We want to get the fish as much food as we can. I don't know if there's a limit to how much food they can have, but. Let's do another two. Right. Why not? We've got a big enough boat, and we need a bigger boat. Give oh. it in nice and close. Try and squeeze it down into this gap. There ought to be like a shadow on the floor. Give you a bit of an idea of where you're aiming. My advice is use what's there to help you A, line it up, and B, stop it from swinging. It changed the angle as well that you look at, because clearly that's catching on the side. So now that's quite annoying, because that's clearly down and it's not releasing the catch. That will do, then, donkey. So you don't have to bother putting it back in because when you just veer off shore, it will uh, automatically retract. So that's how you use the crane, nice and easy. I still feel like we need to be able to push away from the edge. Something they've not done yet, let me just check. Yeah. 
can't do it yet. I think we need to. I think we need to have that feature. Right. Start reversing very carefully. We're going to be a little bit unstable with so much weight. In fact, if anything, it might actually help thinking about it. It's not the most stable of boats at the best of time. We are safely away from the dock. Got a lot of water coming in, that's a bit of a concerning sight. Go. We're up and running. I'm going to be a little bit more careful with the boat than usual. But primarily because we're quite a lot heavier than we normally are. And actually, the boat does feel more stable now than usual. So I'm not going to get into any full sense of security. Oh, hang on, where am I going? Which farm is this way? So. Whilst I'm incredibly nervous about this, I think what I might do if I'm autopiloting. Remove entire route, that's another new feature that they've added. Much needed, I have to say. Getting on everybody at once. Right, we're going the long way round. should be on. I really need to sort this out as well so there's some sort of information on the screen to confirm whether or not autopilot is on. Put my eye on it for a moment. There we go. I'm turning. Is it on? I don't think it's on. There we go. There's a little beat. Oh my word, please don't do that, boat. Good lord, that scared the living daylights out. It's going to do it again now, isn't it? This boat does not lean or handle in a realistic way. <laughs> Brilliant. So I can disengage from the captaincy and we can have a little look at these guys. They seem to be working, don't they? Everything's pretty good. Let me ask you guys, whilst uh, my stress levels are under control slightly, what do you feel about the progress of the game? Do you think it's progressing nicely? Have you had a chance to look at the roadmap or watch my roadmap update video. The direction the game's going in, I think, is quite exciting. But what do you guys think? More important. I know what you guys think. Um, obviously, there's a couple of things that still need sorting out. Um, there's an awful lot of wake. I mean, look at this. That doesn't look right to me at all. I don't know what's going on there? And uh, one of the other things they've added is um, inland waves, so they call them.
I mean, it could well be that because the wave system is turned off, the inland waves just look exactly the same. Now, I don't know if you've spotted it or not, but I'm, I'm desperately trying to fall off the back. <laughs> if I can. I don't even know if it's possible. I've never fallen off the boat before. I've fallen into the water before. But of course, now we have swimming in the game. So should your boat sink or should you fall off the boat, you should, in theory, be able to swim for a short while. Now, that's something that needs to be improved over time. I mean, and enhance. There you go. Right, we're back in control of the boats. And that's our little fish farm over there. Fish farms have now got lights on at night, apparently. That look nice. Coming in at a rate of knots here. This looks very different than it did before. I'm not actually sure where I'm supposed to uh, dock anymore. In the speed right thing. I don't remember these yellow buoys being there either. Oh, I see it. I see it. Tide is against us a bit, so we're going to be a bit bouncy. Oh, I can dock already. Oh, God, I'm going to hit that. That'll do. Get out of practice, boys and girls. Get out of practice. Opening the switch. I think that's So if I fall into the water, oh my gosh, lucky, lucky, luck. You can actually swim now. Pretty cool. After a short time, you respawn back on the boat, apparently. But I have been reliably informed. Well, my way through this. You can climb up on ladders and stuff. Now my boat doesn't have a ladder. The old doctor killed me. Um, it doesn't have a ladder. So if I fell off into the water, whoops, from a long way away, then I wouldn't be able to uh, get back on the boat, I don't think. There's a little ladder this side, no. Oh, hang on, oh, it popped up. I think it popped up there briefly. Oh, don't go under the boat. The water is freezing, you will teleport back to the boat soon. So that's interesting. Um, I did ask. Uh, one of the features I said I'd like to see is food, drink, water, sleep, warmth. Being in the freezing cold water is obviously detrimental to your health after a while. So that's cool. I mean, look at that. That's a that's a massive step forward. Um, I'm really impressed with that. Right, let's jump on the boat and let's grab some uh, fish food. The fish are probably starving. What's going on here? So the hitbox for that has gone a bit wonky, but that's okay. But still. Let's get as much of this done as I possibly can. It's a shame that I have to go back on the boat every time. I think if I can reach it from the 
So our little fish getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And every time they get bigger, they need more food. So we still appear to be at 2,000. Everything seems okay. The net's okay. The thing is okay. The engine is on. I wonder if you can put more fish in there whilst you've already got fish in there. Let me test that out. That's out. So available food 941, daily consumption 121. So that's come down a lot. <laughs> they must have tweaked that because um, I think it was like 600. It went went up from 300 to 600, and it was like doubling every time they get bigger. So they must have tweaked that and changed that in the most recent patch. It seems to be a bit more a bit more realistic now. I don't know how much money you make off this. Um, TMTC, another YouTuber, lovely bloke, really like him. Um, he, I think, was one of the first people to do a fish farm properly for the week. And he earned somewhere around the region of 950 million for that. <laughs> Obviously, they've tweaked it since then. So I don't know how much you can earn now. But um, I think he's uh, living on his own island somewhere now in the middle of Norway. He's got other people doing the fishing for him. He doesn't have to do it anymore. So, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much we make at the end of the week. And it's going to be subject to change. Every time we bring out a patch or an update or whatever, it's going to, um, going to change. I don't see any fish in the water. I would like to be able to see fish in the water. I think that would be good. Especially seeing the salmon, they should be sort of jumping out of the water and being a bit more lively. I think I may have made a mistake here, guys. <laughs> Thousand kilos of um, fish food. An awful lot at 50 kilos of pop. Somewhere in the region of 20 bags per, per bag. So I've got like 300 bags to, to shift here now. That's crazy. What I might end up doing then is buying a second fish farm. And put some of the food over there. I've obviously got to. But I'm a little bit nervous of the fact that the game is still early access, that I may lose all of the fish food that I bought. I'm also curious as to whether or not there is a maximum amount of fish food we've put in. As you can see, there has to be a limit. Right? It's an auto fish feeder. There must be a certain maximum amount put in. Good Lord. How many have I put in there now? I definitely should not have bought this much fish food. <laughs> Massively regretting that decision right now. There's still more. Let's count how many times I've done this. It's got to be close to 20 now, right? Man, it just keeps going. Just keeps going. My poor little E key is going to get broken on my keyboard at this point. Lifting hell. Still not 20. We have to count the next one. That just seems crazy. 
We've got 1,641 presumably kilograms of food, and we need 121. So, I mean, one bag. Now, see, this is the problem, right? When I bought this, I was still under the impression that they were going to eat 600 kilograms of food a day, which I thought was a lot. But then if you break it down into how many um, fish are in a 20,000 litres of smolt, then maybe that does make sense. Bosh. Right, so if their daily consumption remains at 121, we've got more than enough for the week. Um, but if it if it doubles, if it does double, it goes up to 242, then we probably won't have enough. And if it doubles every day, then yeah, we may run into some problems. Um, I'm a bit concerned. Man. What am I going to do with all this food? What am I going to do with all of this food? So this is where the co-op thing would, would come into play. So if you have two of you doing this, obviously it takes half as long. Half as stressful. Probably a lot more fun. But I'm hoping co-op is going to come sooner rather than later. It's just summer 2024. So, I mean, it could be any time now, really. Technically, according to the devs, um, it is in place, co-op mode. It already exists, and it's been tested and working, but also very unstable. So that's why they turned it off, in case you have probably heard that from me. So it's there, they've coded it, it should be working, but in order to stop the game crashing at the time people losing their progress, they've turned it off. But now that we have auto save, we have a far more, far more stable game. It's looking really good. Incidentally, if you're experiencing lots of crashes in your game, there is a um, a branch mode on Steam to run and record your basically your log files if the game crashes a lot and hopefully it will identify what is causing the crash and then fix that and then everybody will have a stable version by the end of the month. Now I don't know how many people know this. I only know this because I spoke to the devs directly, but at the end of the month, once they have a stable version, hopefully by the end of the month, they will introduce a base brand. So everyone who has got us wants to just play the game and not experience crashes or anything like that, you can stay on the stable brand. People like me who are more interested in showcasing what's coming next testing it out, giving feedback for the devs, all that kind of stuff. We can jump on the beta file. Yes, we're risking our game save files. Yes, bad things could happen. But that's what we're here for, right? As a content creator, I get access to the game early. I get a free key. And at the end of the day, I try and repay that by Creating content for you, showcasing the game to you, but I also, and so many YouTubers don't do this, it does worry me how many greedy YouTubers there are, but a lot of them don't go the extra mile and sort of figure out, take the time to find bugs and report them back to devs or give recommendations to future improvements and things like that. So I'm pretty sure, but don't quote me on that I'm, I'm the only YouTuber who has ever called for swimming. And now you can just jump into the water at any time. Now you are most welcome guys. I'm so glad they've done that. And as I said, the reason why I asked for that feature 
Well, it's because it unlocks so many more things like ships thinking. So, 2791. I think we can just keep filling this up. I don't think it's ever going to be full. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put three lots of bags in there. Apologize for having got to. I also regret having got to. About it. I'm going to try and keep the boat stable, haven't I? <laughs> what I'm thinking is I'll go back to shore and we'll buy a second one. Uh, we'll have to take a loan out to do that. We'll buy a second boat, uh, sorry, a second fish farm, and we'll put the other three in there. And never again will we buy six bags of flipping fish food unless we have a team of people working with us to endure the repetition 